Okay, so how, what were you both doing before you met each other in Costa Rica on that hostel, that saucy hostel road trip? <laughs> uh, I'm from Sweden, so but at the time I was studying in Spain and um, some different like personal things had happened which didn't make me want to be in Spain anymore so I decided to take some time off my last year in school and do it over distance. I went to Costa Rica um, and did that so that was like right before we met. Um, but otherwise I'm from Stockholm in Sweden and I have all my friends and family there. I haven't been home, like living home for a while. Um, and that kind of started when we met. That's like when I first started traveling around and not really stayed at one place for a long time. But I always go home and visit. I love Sweden, Sweden's awesome, yeah. And Alex, what about you? I was on, I just finished university, uh, studying engineering there. And I had a seven month, what? Where? Oh, sorry. Um, in <laughs> on, in Seattle, Washington, <laughs> went to the University of Washington. And, and where is that uh, for people like, no, but like my Seattle, friends Washington? The gifted United America. States. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like uh, my family might not know like yeah, Seattle. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. Necessarily. Um, so I finished university. I had a job selling robots uh, lined up. But, but I, um, but I pushed off the start date for seven months because, because we don't I, even have robots now. Because so it's just like yeah, because <laughs> I'm like yeah, they're, yeah, they're not gonna need robots for at least another four or five years. Yeah, so I, I pushed it off seven months and uh, was gonna take some time to live out a few of my like my dreams. I figure okay, when I start working, I'm not gonna have any time to like take a bunch of time off and do what I want. So. I was gonna do my ski bum dream, and I taught part-time ski snowboard lessons up at my home mountain, and uh, skied all week with my buddies and taught lessons to little kids on weekends. That was awesome. Um, and then the next one was my surf bum dream. And <laughs> I love that, that they're all bum related. Yeah, <laughs> well, that's, that's kind of like the attitude towards it in the U.S. Yeah, uh, you're seen as. Uh, off the like you know off the beaten path or yeah. being lazy by yeah. doing something left of field. Yeah. So I'd fallen in love with surfing, like going family trips to Hawaii, and uh, had planned. I'd got into it, but it still was like horrible. I'm like, all right, I'm gonna buy a one-way ticket to Costa Rica. I'm gonna go down there. I'm gonna buy a surfboard. I'm gonna surf as long as I have money for, and I'm gonna get barreled, and I'm gonna come back like a hero back to the U.S. And uh, <laughs> yeah, that didn't happen. <laughs> so you're not a but hero. But we met down there. You didn't there, make so any robots, was, and that you're not a hero. But you met JoJo, which I feel. That was I even feel. better. Yeah. So that inspired the trip down to Costa Rica. Um, yeah. And then. In between that, we had kind of like a break of traveling. Yeah. Yeah. I worked in Stockholm for a little bit as daycare teacher. Uh, but I've always been like that even since I was a kid, like Sweden's never really been my place. I always travel a lot with my family and been tons of different places and I always liked that. And, like even if I was working I really enjoy my job. Working with kids is amazing but I still felt like there's other things that I wanted to do. I want to give back or like meet other people, learn more, like grow more as a person. and. I feel like I got a little bit of trapped, like in Sweden. Sweden's really small, and it's easy to get stuck in the people you hang out with and from school and all that. Mm -hmm. So then, after you worked with all the robots for a while, we're like, well, we always talked about it that we wanted to go out and do it like for real, not just for like a few months. And that's kind of when we both quit our jobs, and now we're doing this. And now yeah, you're here. going for yeah. a year, so it's been awesome. Never stop, no. Like, you definitely do miss, like, a lot of things about being in one place, too, but Friends, everything else, like, group. overweights, yeah. yeah. Cooking in your own kitchen, Yeah, JJ. definitely. Miss the Vitamix blender a lot. <laughs> Is that a promo ad? Yeah. That? <laughs> that's Are you really, sponsored? That's, like, the best vitamin <laughs> or the best blender in the U.S. that you can have. <laughs> This isn't an infomercial. 
is, show. It is magic. <laughs> You can, you can also buy it at Costco and then you can return it and get all the money back even if you've used okay, it. Okay, you don't have to talk about that. Vitamix <laughs> <laughs> yes, will not sponsor us. No. Okay. I think you've definitely lost your sponsorship in that last five minutes. Yeah. Edit that out. So, sorry, Vitamix. Being both of you from different countries, meeting in a different country, traveling to different countries, what what gets lost in translation across from where you've both come to where you now meet? Let's see. Okay, s something that's kind of funny about about Swedish people is, uh, <laughs> is they don't like talking to strangers uh, and people that they like don't know or have never met. They totally just like, poof, like put up a wall. They pretend they don't even see them. Like straight New York City. Well, they're a little meaner in New York City, but they just like politely ignore everyone else that they don't know. Um, they don't believe in small talk, joking around, none of that stuff. Unless it's like close friends and you're in with a the group, then they're like the sweetest, like most loving, like super, super funny, friendly, awesome people. But if you're not, if you don't know them, if you're a stranger, they're like, just cold wall like don't talk to anybody and that's pretty funny in our relationship because especially traveling because everywhere we go i'm the total opposite i'm like classic american who goes and like talks to everybody all the time like small yeah. talk here small talk here and she's just like why do you gotta talk to everybody always like can you just not do that? Don't <laughs> talk like that. Okay. Is that his accent? Yeah, that's the attitude that I get. It's like okay, I yeah. have my own version of how Josephine talks to me. Like she talks normal, and then I hear it like how I just. Say. Well, you Jojo's used to get like way worse basically bad sex. When you did impressions from you, be like, <laughs> <laughs> and I don't talk like that at all. Okay. Well, What's one of yours, Jojo? <laughs> One thing, like a small thing like that with coming to the U.S. for the first time. I mean, yeah, the first impression of Alex was him being the traditional douchebag that you see in What movies. are some traits of the American douchebag? Like... The bros. It, it's like, yeah, it's a like really bro-y guy who like knows that he's good looking, like, like talks to you, but kind of like, oh, I don't really, like, I ask you a question, but I don't... Like, want to listen to your answer? Like, I'm too busy being so cool and hot or whatever. <laughs> and like, plays you hot and cold. Like when we met, like hanging out, and I was like talking. <laughs> Alex is like, just getting Alex a sweat just, like, right now. <laughs> like, kind of, like, oh, like arrogant. Like, ugh. I just that's like, and it's so like exactly like from being in Sweden when you watch like teenage movies and like rom coms and all like the typical American movies. That's like what you see, and you're like, oh well. I'm always thinking, like, I mean, that can't be true. Like, I don't think that everyone from the U.S. is like that. <laughs> and then I meet one of the first Americans in, like, real life, and it's just on point. <laughs> oh. <laughs> but you've here. since changed your opinion, right? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, definitely. Once she got past the douche. <laughs> but, like, that thing, like, also being from Sweden, like, you say, like, Americans are really... They go out and talk to everyone, and it's always super friendly and like, oh hi, blah 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 blah. But like being from Sweden, like in the beginning when I went to the U.S. and people were like super nice to me all the time, I felt like it was really like false or not real. I felt like they asked me because they had to. It's like a thing that you do because you're being polite and that's what you grow up to learn how to be amongst other people. Whereas in Sweden, like, well, yeah, this sounds harsh, but if people are not interested, they don't talk. But if they do talk to you, it's real. Like, they want to know you or ask, like, they ask you questions because they want to hear the answers, not just because it's, like, a thing that you do. Another funny thing is that, like, in Sweden, no one says sir or ma'am, like, the Swedish versions of that. No one says that ever, whereas me being young, like, oh, hello, ma'am, how are you doing today? Like, that's how you get addre like, addressed mm -hmm. by people who talk to you. That's kind of funny, too. I was really shocked in the beginning. I'm like, like what? I'm not married and not old. Like, it should be called ma'am. <laughs> ma'am. <laughs> but that's like, also goes into that, like, polite thing. Yeah. Like, people in, the, in America is really, really polite, I would say. Yeah. And is there anything that you and Jojo have like discussed where you've just thought, where is she getting any of this from, or vice versa? 
I can think She's of a all huge this. feminist. <laughs> yeah. and, uh, really? And Sweden is like a country of feminists. They're actually yeah. like they're Proud. they're known as like the most socially responsible country like on the planet, which I agree with. Like, yeah, that's I think that's awesome. And I'm from a place that's like really like Seattle, Washington, in the northwest of the U.S. is probably like one of the closest areas, definitely the closest like part of the U.S. to Sweden in terms of culture. Um, yeah. But yeah, but the feminism is kind of like. There's even a group in Sweden that advocates <laughs> for males having to sit down to pee because it's an unfair advantage <laughs> to, f so. to females that they get to stand up and pee. Like, I read about that in my Swedish book, so... <laughs> oh, you've got a Swedish... Thank God you got that Swedish book. Xenophile's Guide to Sweden. Are you sponsored by them as well? <laughs> no, sorry. You'll find the links below. Yeah, okay, in the blog. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I definitely think that's true. That's a big difference. Like, also, everything that goes into, like, the environment, like, Sweden's really, uh, like, on to stuff, which I'm super happy growing up in and having that, but the U.S. is really different when it comes to a lot, like, everyone, like, another huge thing that's so different, everyone in the U.S. drives everywhere. If mm -hmm. you're going to go 500 meter down the street to go and grab, I don't know, you're missing toilet paper or something at the grocery store. You take your car, and like if more people in the family are gonna go, well, you take your own car. Like you if, don't go together. If you're parked on one side of the shopping complex and you go to a store, and then another store is on the other side that you want to go to, you think we're gonna walk across? <laughs> <laughs> we're in Sweden. Like people walk, like or take buses and like local transportation. At least, like I mean, it's also hard for me to know. My viewpoint is from growing up in Stockholm, which is a city, and there's lots of buses and trains and metro and all that. But the U.S. definitely drives way more than Sweden. Yeah. Um, yeah. Another uh, funny thing that comes from all the American movies, <laughs> and that is actually true, is that Americans use, they have shoes on inside, which is really weird. Oh, thing. can we say that thing, Jojo, that when <laughs> you describe how you would say...